The following program is rated G. It is suitable for all audiences. Hi everyone! Welcome to my blog. So today I'm going to discuss about the teaching profession, the characteristic of being a good and effective teacher, and the demand of the society from the teacher as a professional and as a person. But before that, what is professional and what is teacher? So the term professional refers to anyone who earns their living from performing an activity that requires a certain levels of education, skills, or training. There is typically a required standards of competency, knowledge, or education that must be demonstrated often on teacher, the form exam, or credential, as well as adhering to codes of conduct and ethical standards. So teacher is the second parent of a child and a teacher has a great role in the future of a student or a child. In a student life most of he in the school, he learn his life from school than from the home. So it is the duty of a teacher to teach him better lesson which is not only from the text book but also about general things too. Dahil sa social distancing while social distancing it is a kind of consideration with its two personality is not combined yes that is social distancing one liter distance kaya na pag-isipan ko na dito na ako sa bahay so before we start i need to call my two friends to bring us those materials that are needed here in my explanation or our discussion for today about the teaching profession. Thank you. So let's start. So as a teacher, you need to put your feet on the shoes of your students. So meaning, so like for example, you are a secondary teacher and you are teaching in elementary. So the strategy of teaching is different from elementary and um, secondary. So kinakailangan yung mga strate strategy of teaching mo ay naaayon sa kung ano ang tinuturuan mo. So like for example, you are giving an activity to, to your students. So kinakailangan yung mga activity ay naaayon sa kung ano ang, ang nararapat sa mga estudyante mo. So, sa ganong paraan, hindi lang sila ma masaya, maging masaya, kundi matuto pa sila at mag, they can interact to your activity because they are um, because they are feel comfortable and happy with your activities. So, what I have said earlier, that teachers are the second parent of students and teachers not only um, transfer knowledge and facilitate student but it is our duty and responsibility that all of our students feel happy comfortable and safe so bilang isang guru lagi nating isipin na hindi tayo nagtuturo upang makita ng malaking pera kundi nagtuturo tayo upang mabago natin ang buhay ng isang estudyante o ng isang bata because I believe that teacher has a great role in the future of students or a child. So sa pagtuturo, kinakailangan meron kang sapat na lakas upang maging epektibo yung pagbibigay mo ng topics at gawin yung mga nararapat gawin sa loob ng klase. At halimbawa, na mag, meron kayo activity at magbibigay ka ng isang instruction na gawin ito. So, halimbawa, na, Okay class, group yourself into three. So, paano maniniwala ang mga estudyante mo sa'yo kung ganun ka hina yung boses mo? Kinakaalangan, meron kang sapat na lakas para gawin ng mga estudyante mo kung ano ang dapat mong ipagawa sa kanila. So, sa pagtuturo, kinakaalangan makita at mararamdaman ng ating mga uh, mag-aaral na sila ay masaya. At bilang isang guru, kung ano man ang problema natin sa labas ng paaralan at sa ating pamamahay, kinailangan natin siyang iwanan upang hindi maapektuhan ang ating klase. At para na rin 
um, ipalabas natin kung ano man ang dapat nating um, gawin at ipagawa sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sa bilang isang guru, huwag mong hayaan na ikontrol ka ng mga estudyante mo. Kinakailangan makikita nila na ikaw ay iba sa kanila at ikaw ay mataas sa kanila. Na sila ay estudyante mo lamang na kinakailangan kung ano man ang iyong sasabihin na at ipapagawa sa kanila, kailangan lang sundin dahil estudyante mo lang sila at ikaw ang magkarapatan na pagsabihan sila kung ano man ang dapat gawin.